Hi guys, Cody Lopez here with Texelent News, and today we're going to see how the Galaxy S9 has been holding up after all these months. This is our long term review, so let's not waste any more time and get right into it. While there have been many attempts to get rid of bezels on smartphones before, none felt quite as natural or well thought out as Samsung's design choice. These days it seems everyone is copying the iPhone notch, while Samsung has decided to stick with virtually the same award winning design we saw last year. There are a few changes though. The bezels at either end of the display is now slightly thinner, the aluminum is tougher, and the glass coating the display is a little thicker than the Galaxy S8. The back has a clean look, with branded logos accompanied by the new vertical dual camera system, a heart rate sensor, and a fingerprint scanner located in a much easier position. My black unit is an absolute fingerprint magnet, and while I do believe the benefits of a glass back smartphone outweigh the negatives, it's still a bit of a pain to keep clean. Samsung phones have always been feature packed, and the Galaxy S9 Plus continues this trend. You get a water resistant device with wireless charging, a micro SD card slot, stereo speakers, plus a headphone jack. You'll also get a dedicated Bixby button. This is Samsung's virtual assistant and has people on both sides of the fence. And if you're not a fan, well I'll link a video showing how I repurpose this button to my liking. As for the display, well Samsung's AMOLED panels are the best in the business and this particular 6.2 inch display doesn't disappoint. The burst of color and vibrancy on this screen is sublime. Viewing angles are great, outdoor visibility is good, plus there's full support for HDR content. After having seen a few poor OLED displays in recent Android phones, it's great to finally have one that lives up to the hype. Powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon A45 processor and 6GB of RAM, the Galaxy S9 Plus is an absolute beast. Everyday tasks or playing games with apps open in the background, and the phone never stuttered. You should know in terms of sheer processing might, the A11 Bionic chip in the latest iPhones is the fastest around, but Samsung is definitely closing the gap. When it comes to LTE network performance, the Galaxy S9 Plus smoked the iPhone X, averaging around 20 megabits per second, more than its main competitor. Overall, the phone has been performing great, let's just hope it remains that way. You see, a big reason why Samsung phones tend to slow down over time is due to the software. Okay, I'll admit, Samsung's software experience has been getting better over the last couple of years, but it's still clunky and has nothing on stock Android. I mean, let's be honest, Samsung's duplicate apps and services are just burdensome. There are a number of annoying settings and notifications I've had to turn off just to give the phone a simple and pleasant user experience. Sure, a lot of this is simply personal preference, but some software services just don't make sense at all. I'm looking at you, Bixby. Plus, the entire software experience is built on 8.0 Oreo, which isn't even the latest version of Android, and seems kind of like a big missed opportunity. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm still using the Galaxy S Plus despite its software, not because of it. As for the battery life, well, the 3500 mAh battery is the same size as last year's model, so I didn't expect much of a boost in endurance, and to be honest, I didn't see much either. In everyday usage, the S9 Plus lasts a full day. Only nights out late would I need to reach for a charger. Luckily it does have quick charging with or without being plugged in. Now let's talk about Samsung's highlighted feature of the S9 Plus, the camera. After months of testing, it's safe to say you won't be disappointed with the cameras that it comes with. Yes, it has two cameras, one with dual aperture, which means better low light shots, while the other features two times optical zoom. Photos are detailed with good color accuracy, even at night the photos taken are worth sharing. You won't find many situations where you can expect a high-end photo, and this is without tweaking settings in the pro mode. It even has some additional perks like ultra slow motion, portrait mode, and AR emojis. Although honestly, I only use the AR emojis a few times. Hyped or not, this is a great camera that most users will be very pleased with. Overall, Samsung's Galaxy S Plus is holding up rather well, and I think it's safe to say that it's the complete package, 
With its gorgeous hardware and enough bells and whistles to satisfy a wide variety of customers, it's definitely a contender for Smartphone of the Year. After all these months since its release, I have no hesitation recommending it even considering the high price tag compared to the smaller Galaxy S9. So if you're looking for a phone that checks all of the boxes, then the Galaxy S9 Plus is the one for you. For more smartphone coverage, visit our website at techslandnews.com, follow our social media for excellent technology news daily, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Once again, I'm Cody Lopez with Texland News, and I will see you all in our next video. Thank you.